Hello everybody, welcome back, it's been a long time. Uh, breeding the pigeons for 2023, that's the video. I'm just going to sh show you my breeding mix that I'm feeding them at the moment. Uh, the pigeons, weather a bit like pairing up. The weather's been um, wet and cold, so I've put it off and put it off. Anyway, the pigeons have been paired up now, paired up on the 10th of January, 10th of the 11th. Um, and we've got the first young birds of the season, which I'll show you shortly. But first, that's my mix. It's uh, Bayer's Galaxy breeding. Really good mix. Um, and they've been on that. Well, they've been sitting eggs. We've gone 50-50 with depurative. But now the eggs are back. The last week, coming up to hatching. I've just given them 100% breeding. So let's have a look at the birds. Okay, I'm, I'm going to show you a few of the pairs. Uh, these have actually had a first round of eggs, which have, have now floated. These are some new ends. The grizzles. Paired onto my best cocks. Um, due to go down on the next set of eggs. So, as you can see, they're in good condition. I'm just feeding them now. But I have actually their staff, number one breeding male, Gus, these end. So these ends are closely related. A brother staff up there, um, and uh, obviously a brother of Gus, paired on to a daughter from his sister, which have bred a couple of good winners in 2022. So they stay together, um, but the new pairings, it's a, I'm taking a gamble, you're taking a risk, but you've got to bring in new pigeons to try and improve. So hopefully, fingers crossed, these will uh, gel together and produce some better racing pigeons, but we'll see. So I'm going to, like I say, these eggs have been floated. They're due to go down on the second round of eggs, these, so I'll let them rear them, and I'll show you. The others coming in. Quick look there, two babies that I've hatched out from, from a daughter of the red badge. So as you can see, they were about two days old, nice, nicely filled with milk. To feed them, to feed them on milk. The first six, five or six days, um, and once I, once they go into solid corn, I'll start introducing the Oma form. So they're two grandchildren of the Red Batch. So here we are in the Widowwood Loft, again, feeding time at the zoo, and I do feed my pigeons in the boxes, even when they're breeding, by hand, twice a day, I don't leave corn in front of them, even when they've got babies in the nest, I don't believe in it, I feed them, and I find that you, you rear a, a nice young bird, a couple just chipped out there, they're actually their eggs, that's me. In fact, he's rearing his brothers and sisters under them. Top that one, Newton Abbott, in 2022. And actually, he's actually raising his siblings that have just hatched. Let's have a look. There we go. New life. Just out of the eggs today. As you can see how small they are, they've dried up. 
they've only just hatched and like I say that's actually the brother in the corner there that's rearing up he's reading up the pair that you've just seen in the stock left I'll leave him so he don't get too upset but they are starting to hatch out now all the, the other one here just chipped out you see that's actually a daughter of staff there paired onto a 2022 young cop that's made the widowhood team and he's taken to fatherhood as natural as anything so that's it you can see how i feed them in the boxes i feed them in the boxes by hand and when they go for that water that's when i stop feeding them I'm not a one for leaving corn in front of the pigeons all day. I don't think it doesn't it works in the favour. Well, that's just the way I've done it. I'll do it. But most of these in here, uh, the young cocks from 2022, as you can see, they took the widowwood. They took the tech to the widowwood. They'll rear a young bird in the, the box that'll bond them to the box um, and that's what your motivation they need i think they need to rear the young bird these yearlings a lot of people don't rear let them rear yearlings but that's everybody has the choice everybody has the different ways but i find that by letting them rear a young bird in that box that bonds them to the box but hey like i always say many roads lead to Rome so that's me yearling cox and me two-year-olds that have made the season they're all first prize winners them older pigeons two-year-old cox um you have got a better chance of winning because they've already won in my opinion if a pigeon can win once he can win twice if he's any good but we'll see there's 53 already won two first prizes for me two thirds again in 2022 and he's actually paired to the end that won mangage field the inbred granddaughter my number one breeder staff there she is you've probably seen the video where she come and won it was third federation or doing over 77 miles an hour and i paired her to 53 so that's first prize winner twice the blue cock and the check in with my first pigeon twice last year she winning and being a third so i paired them together and i'll race their young birds winners the winners um the others the odd ones that are sitting the first prize winning cock to sit in their own eggs or just chipping their own eggs i take them off the winners and the others i floated them from the new pairing that you've seen at the beginning of the video then grizzle ends that I have fetched in to try and improve the breed and get them a bit faster and uh, it's from a winning family as you have told you before two winning families coming together you've got a better chance of getting winners but hey they might not gel but we'll see okay I'm now in the loft next door um a lot a lot of you will remember me kitting this loft out with some boxes and these end boxes over here um, the reason behind it this was me old stock loft i have fitted it with 12 boxes with a few racing ends if i get the time um, but there's actually some stock pigeons in here that have bred good pigeons i did actually end up finishing with 18 young cocks and everybody who knows me only ever raced 12 um, but i found that i had a bit of time last year and i raced a few ends with success um that end double granddaughter of staff winning and being third fed on a fast day um she won't fire off top in the federation to be honest but hey uh, but these pigeons here obviously obviously you know that pigeon there the red badge 2013 pigeon winner of seven first stopping the fed in the amount paired onto a daughter of Gus 
Well, she was a virgin hen last year. Got a paired in two. And he bred two winners with that hen. Um, that's one of his daughters up there that won for me. So that's a daughter of the Red Badge. First prize winner in 2022. Up on eggs. So due to chip out. But the other pigeon won for a lad over in Birkenhead, Gary, Gary Dodd. He won in the gold ring money, four or five hundred quid, I think. And it won in the race. I think there was 18 members, 20 members sent 500 pigeons. So it just shows you that although he's an old pigeon now, he's still producing the goods. Um, he's actually on two chip, two egg, two young birds now that have just chipped out. I don't want to disturb him. Let's have a look because he's normally okay. The red badge, he knows the score. He's, uh, he's an old pigeon. He's been here before, but there's his little babies there. Look. Hopefully there's a winner amongst them too. Well, that's the red badge. He's giving me a little peck. But, like I say, experienced pigeon. He knows I'm not, don't mean him any harm. Uh, and again, we've got what I call me one loft pigeons. That, that pair there. That's, um, that hen actually flew the one loft, the pottery's one loft race, and it's going to the final. It was only young when I entered them in April. Uh, but the last three years, I've had a pigeon in the final of the one loft. And a daughter actually won the hot spot from Weymouth. In 2022 so i've kept that pair together even though i'm not entering the one spot because they wanted them early the young the uh, one lock race they wanted them early and i ain't got time i ain't never had the time the weather wasn't right so i wasn't going to pair them up early so i'll give it a miss this year but hey we'll see how they go i'll just see if i can get you i won't stay on there mate because they'll come and get you Pinching uh, the badger's gone. And the badger's just told him to go away. That's mine. And there's his female, like I say. Virgin N, two first Creek prize winners last year. And one of them being that pied end there. So, like I say, I always take eggs off the winners. The ones that have won. Because I think you've got a better chance. There's a new grizzle up there that's paired. Oh. So these grizzles are the fat new family that are brought in to try and improve the pigeons. So you never know, two winning families coming together, like I say. It'll either work or it won't, but we'll wait and see. I'm a very good RPRA winning loft. So, like I say, we can only wait and see. Um, so maybe I get time and I can race the, the ends in here. Uh, but we'll see. But I never leave any stones unturned. I'm always looking. Uh, my family of pigeons are inbred now. We have, I've had them since 2013. And I've always selected them on the results. Um, but they are really closely bred to a pigeon called Treble 5. Um, but they're still winning. So... But I do know you need to bring pigeons in um, to try and improve and keep the winning lines. Try and get a faster pigeon. A bit of activity here, like there always is when I'm feeding them. But like I say, you see it, I feed them by hand in the boxes, whether they're on young birds or not. Because I don't want them just picking and choosing from a hopper. I want them to eat every bit of the grain, and as you can see, they're still eating it. Uh, when them young birds are seven days old, five or six days old, when they started to be fed solid corn, I will introduce uh, what I always use, a spoonful of Homer Farm on the box every day. I think it's full of goodness for the young birds, vitamins or whatever. Um, but that's about it. Clean water. I don't use supplements in the drinking water here. The pigeons have got to have a good, strong immune system. There's the father of uh, 53 that I've shown you next door. And the hen that bred them. That's the pair. 
Uh, but, yeah, so that's the pair that bred 53 and 54 that won th uh, three races in 2021. So obviously I'm taking their young birds, they're paired up together again. Um, and the young birds are, hard, are due to chip any day now. Um, there's a couple here that are floated from the other section, from the new pairings, but majority of them are on their own eggs or on, on babies. So that's it for this video. I know it's been a long while coming. I've had messages, people asking me to upload another video. It's just about having the time. Um, the weather's not been right. Beginning of the month, a lot of people pair up early in December, but it was damp, cold, not not good for visiting pigeons. Um, but like I say, young cock there, that's a brother to 53. That's his parents in that box up there that I've just shown you. And hopefully, he's actually paired, I've paired him to a very, very good hen. Daughter of staff, he's actually a grandson of staff. Well, that's the staff's daughter there that's bred a lot of good pigeons for me. She's from 2017. And um, you can see with my good ends, they always have tusks. You can see the tusks there. For me, in my pigeons, in, I can pick them out. Um, when I get ends like that, they're usually good ones. They usually breed winners. And that's a, that's actually uh, a half sister that's paired to. Red badge, red two winners again, 2022, like I said. So, yeah, so the pigeons, my pigeons are inbred. Um, but it's this year I have opted to bring some ends in and see how they go cross with another family. Again, there's a daughter of the badge, first prize winner in 2022, and a young cock. Like I say, I've ended up with 18 young cocks. So it's whether I race 18 young cocks or not. Or I race these ends that are paired to these young cocks. Um, the ones that I can race. So as you can see, them young, yeah, it's a virgin. And I like to take eggs and I like to try the young ones off first year ends. That's just my something that I've always done and I've found that normally you'll get one or two good ones from the first eggs from the early ends but that's just my observation in my loft there you go again that's a close-up of daughter of staff red first prize winners and I always look for them tusks on the ends from staff the elephant tusks and once I see them I always uh, put them to one side and try the young birds and nine times out of ten I've been proven right but that's because I know the family of birds and I'm not saying everyone with tusks will breed you winners I'm just saying my family of pigeons here that's one of the observations I've made so we'll see but anyway I hope you've enjoyed the video I know it's been a long time coming Leave a comment in the comment section if you want to ask anything. Um, but this is the loft that I kitted out. Uh, if you remember, with these hen boxes, the pigeons will actually come through there, through the roof trap. It's a bit cobwebby up there, but that board slides open and that's accessed via the roof of the loft. Um, I will put them up like that if I decide to raise them. So that will stay up there like that, and that's way I've got uh, all sorts up here at the minute. But that's the, that's where they access the loft. I'm going to move that board out out through the roof, and I might I may just put some bob wires on there. Remove that, put some bob wires in, so they can't get out once they've returned from the race. Um, come out of there, you. You don't want any damaged eggs, that's the only trouble with these young cocks, you've got to be watching them all the time. And I don't want any breakages or any flattened young birds. But normally, I know what it is, this end's gone in the wrong box here. You should be in there, my dear. That's your box. So good to see. So the weather's warming up a bit now, it's getting drier. Um, 
Um, like I say, I don't like looking at pigeons, spending time with the pigeons when it's cold and damp, damp weather outside. I don't, I don't like doing it. Um, the pigeons that are not at the best, they don't like that damp weather. As you can see, we've not ate what I've given. That's why I feed them by hand. They know when they've had enough. Look, this pair here. They've only ate half of what I've given. So that'll be cleaned away before it, the lights go out. The darkness comes on. Um, speaking of lights, I was asked. I don't use lights. But even when I'm breeding. As you can see, it's daylight outside. I have got a light, but I don't put it on. And I don't think you need to put it on. People say... You need to put the lights on when you're paired up. No, you don't. When the pigeons are fit, all these pigeons went down between 8 and 10, 11 days. And they've hatched. Or they're just about to hatch. There's one or two that have just hatched. So it's about the time. Be pairing up the 10th of the 11th of January. Like I say, I floated the first round off them six pairs, seven pairs. And uh, now... All systems go. That's it. No supplements in the water. I don't even canker them on my first round of eggs. I will do after I split these young birds. When I take the young birds away and they're on the second round, then I'll canker them. And I'll canker them young birds that have moved when they're all together. So that's how, how I do it. Again, sorry for the delay in the video, but hey, I'm more to life than making videos. I'm doing it just to see if, if, if it helps one person, which I know it has, and I'm happy. But this is where we're at, breeding 2023, start of the 2023 season. Um, pigeons are in good order, as you can see. Um, and when I see people posting the pigeons, and if, you can't, if your pigeons are not in good order now, You've got to look at how you keep them because I keep it to a minimum. Pigeons are naturally after them come through the malt with no problems. They're in good order. Fresh water, good corn. Keep all the supplements. I don't believe in it. Yeah, I treat when I'm racing. The old school style. Canker and respiratory, but that's it. If the pig you know for yourself if the pigeons are well or if they're not well. And that's when you act. So you don't blind treat for anything, I don't. If the pigeon can't rear three or four rounds of young birds on their own esteem, then the week we've got a weak immune system. Now I always try and build up I've been building up the immune system on these pigeons for the last seven or eight years. Um well it's not it doesn't come from a bottle. Very rarely a worm them. I test them for worms. Very rarely a worm and they'll off dry, bone dry. Um, but that's why when I mentioned damp weather, I don't like coming in when it's damp because damp brings nasty stuff in. And the loft's well ventilated, as you can see up there. I burnt all them cobwebs off. That was full of cobwebs. So when you've got full of cobwebs in the roof space, you know you've got a dry loft. The ventilation's good. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm not going to ramble on. You all know the dance. That's what I wish everybody the best of luck in 2023 racing. I hope your breeding's going well. So, over and out. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.
like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free.